I bandsawed the profile of the neck, um, left ample wood here to make the, the volute that is typically found on a, a Martin style guitar. And uh, I could only roughly cut the peg head to the thickness. Um, normally I would sand this exactly where I want it to be on a belt sander, but this volute area gets in the way, so I'm going to to use planes and get down to this pencil or pen line all the way around and then I'll start working on the, the volute that'll go right where the truss rod and track of the center line there. I've got some pretty smooth walls and the peg head is mostly smooth. Still needs a little bit of paring down with a plane. But now what I want to do is cut pretty much vertically. Um, I really want the, the base of this triangle to be where my pen lines are not the top of the triangle, it, it should come more to a point up at the top. So first I'm going to cut down these walls and then I will shave the top to a point. Yeah, that looks pretty symmetrical to me. And now I'm going to shape the top of the volute. I think I'll carve away a little bit of this neck wood first just to get it out of my way. Now I'm going to just kind of try to bring this to a bit of a point.
I don't want this to be a, a razor edge. I'll round it off with sandpaper. the idea. Now I have to smooth everything off with some careful sanding. And there it is. Two hours later I have a largely well, I guess it's functional, but mostly it's a decoration. The volute does help strengthen the peg head a little bit and guard against breakage, but I'm not sure it's worth the effort as far as that goes. Decoratively, you can't beat it, though. There it is from the, the head. And here it is from the side. Okay. That's all for now.